So Rigetti Quantum Computing reports earnings on August 12th after market close. And Rigetti has also been holding a key price level above $15. So what I'd like to do today is I'd like to do a deep dive into Rigetti Quantum Computing. I'd like to look at their website, look to look at recent articles, and also some of their financial history and previous earnings. We're going to look at Rigetti in its entirety, and I'm going to give you guys some predictions as far as earnings and what I see playing out for the rest of 2025. So let's jump in. So first, for those of you who don't know, Rigetti Quantum Computing is a quantum computing company that is based in California, and they have a bunch of different quantum computers. They have technology partners like NASA, Oxford Instruments. They have distribution through Amazon Web Services, Microsoft. They make the Novera QPU, which is manufactured with the same caliber as Rigetti's larger system. I think one of the main selling points for Rigetti is that they're building their systems in a modular scalable way. So in the future, other quantum companies or Rigetti themselves can build these computers and mix and match pieces. The new Vera QPU is based on Rigetti's Anka class architecture, which features a square of lattice qubits and turnable couplers flexible configuration. The Novera QPU can easily be rewired and customized to fit your goals 24 seven access. And then we get a little hint of the future proofness Up, upgrade and improve your hardware as the technology involves prolonging your investment and keeping you at the edge of innovation. So currently they have a median fidelity of 99.9% .9 single qubit gates and 99.4% two qubit gates. The Novera QPU starts at 900,000. So one of the things that excites me about Rigetti is some of their hardware that is coming in 2025. We're gonna to touch on this a little bit later in the video, but they just recently made this announcement and the stock went up over 30%. One of the catalysts was Cantor Fitzgerald gave a $15 price target for Rigetti on July 2nd. They initiated coverage with an over weight rating and a $15 price target. I'm over on marketbeat.com and I'm taking a look at the consensus price target of $15.50. Rigetti closed today at $15.50. Analysts estimate that there is a 0.39% upside and they're giving a buy rating on Rigetti. We heard from Rigetti on July 22nd and they announced that they're going to report their second quarter 2025 financial results and host a conference call on August 12th. And this will happen after market close. The big news that sent Rigetti stock much higher in the last couple of weeks and as far as trading is concerned is Rigetti demonstrates industry's largest multi-chip quantum computer, which halves the two qubit gate error rate. So with this 99.5% median two qubit gate fidelity on its modular 36 qubit system, a two X reduction in median two qubit error rate from Rigetti's previous result on its 84 qubit single chip Anka three system. So definitely an improvement there. So they're doing this with chiplets. So instead of one chip and cramming a bunch of qubits on one chip, they're doing a chiplet arc architecture much like we've seen with Nvidia and their chips where they do chiplets instead, and they're actually making bigger chips so they can be more powerful and tile them together. Composed of four nine qubit chiplets tiled together, the 36 qubit system is based on Rigetti's proprietary modular chip technology and unlocks the company's path to building a 100 qubit chiplet based system. Rigetti plans to launch its 36 qubit system on August 15th and remains on track to release its 100 qubit chip base system at 99.5% median two qubit fidelity before the end of 25. So there's two really key pieces of information here that I think investors should be paying attention to. The release of their new 36 qubit system is coming just days after earnings and their 100 qubit system, so long as they stay on track with their target, will come by the end of 2025. The CEO says, we benefit from 
the many advantages of superconducting qubits, including gate speeds more than 1000 times faster than other modalities like ion trap and pure atoms, and scalability. By leveraging well-known techniques from the semiconductor, we've developed proprietary technology that we believe is critical to enable scaling to higher qubit count systems. We look forward to sharing more updates when we release our operating results for the second quarter of 2025. So really one of the things that I personally like about Rigetti is they are taking this scalable and modular approach. And I've been telling the members of my channel that this is really, really important, especially long-term for Rigetti, and even in the near term, as far as the stock is concerned, because they're actually releasing new hardware and they're giving us new systems that they can build out their quantum computers with, but even as important, and maybe even more importantly, other quantum companies can use pieces of their system and that can start to be a revenue generator. So think NVIDIA, all of the MAG7 companies that currently are lining up out the door to buy NVIDIA's chips now apply that to quantum computing and apply that to really one of the only companies that's building quantum computers in this way where pieces of it are for sale. So very interesting. And then of course, just a reminder that Rigetti had completed a $350 million at the market equity offering, bolstering their cash position. I did a whole video on this. They're above half a billion in cash and they have many years of runway to operate and continue their r and I'm gonna put that up on the screen if you'd like to learn more about that. With this additional funding, Rigetti will have approximately $575 million in cash, cash equivalents, and available for sale investments with no debt and is well positioned to support commercial scale up of its superconducting gate based quantum computers. Now, from the most recent interview, from my recollection, Dr. Kulkarni is saying that he believes that the computers are four years away from commercial ramp up. But we've seen companies like Quantinuum and IonQ accelerate their roadmap towards more powerful quantum computers and commercial readiness. So we will see if that actually plays out. Dr. Kulkarni seems like someone to me that is going to lean to being more cautious, especially with his earlier in the year, he was telling investors, make sure you manage your expectations. And what when there was the frenzy. So I'm just pulling up Rigetti's computing. Four months ago, they posted their Quanta computer. And essentially, Rigetti and Quanta have committed to $250 million each over the next five years, focusing on complementary strengths to develop superconducting quantum computing technologies. In addition, Quanta will invest $35 million and purchase shares of Rigetti subject to regulatory clearance. Now, I've covered this before, but I bring it up because Quanta was an early investor in Apple and NVIDIA. So they are in good company. Quanta placing an early bet is a great sign for Getty. Okay, so now we're going to get into more of the financials. We're going to look at balance sheet. We're going to look at options flows, and we're going to look at charts. I'm going to give some predictions, and we're going to get out of here. All right, so today on Friday, July 25th, the options volume leaned bullish with more calls than puts. The open interest leans bullish with more calls than puts. And the average open interest is a 1.42 to 1 ratio on calls and puts. The reason that it's sometimes good to look at the options market and the options flow is to understand if investors are more bearish or bullish over any certain time period and what the open interest is looking like. On ProfitViz, we're gonna take a look at some of the revenue struggles that Rigetti has had. So with all these quantum companies, they're not at the point yet, except for maybe the exception of IonQ and D-Wave, where they're making even a decent amount of revenue. Dr. Kulkarni self-proclaims the company is an R&D company, so keep that in mind with Rigetti. So their highest revenue was in 2022 at 6 million, and there's been a downtrend. Looks like they figured something out with their net income in the last quarter, operating income. This paints the picture of fiscal responsibility to me, as for the last four or five years, they've actually been able to run 
a pretty flat operating income. So a predictable operating income, a predictable cash burn is better than one that is accelerating and lumpy. Free cash flow is slightly trending in the right direction. Operating cash flow is slightly trending in the right direction if we want to look at it optimistically. Cost and OPEX, we're sitting at about 21 million. And again, this number is fairly predictable, which is good. I looked at the careers page today. They're hiring about seven positions, seven or eight positions. So not a, a huge expected increase in cost or OPEX anytime soon. And then cash and equivalents and assets. Now this is as of their last report, but they closed that ATM offering. So on paper, they're going to look even better after this next report. So now getting into this upcoming earnings and my predictions for what's going to happen. So I don't expect anything from earnings. I don't expect that they're going to come and have a surprise revenue or surprise partnership or anything like that. What I'm really looking at with Rigetti is can they deliver on their hardware deadlines? So they have the August 15th deadline that is very close to earnings. Hopefully on the earnings call, they will talk about that. They'll say they're on schedule to deliver that by August 15th. And I'm hoping that on the earnings call, they'll say we're on schedule for a 100 qubit system. Both of these would be very bullish because the market is forward looking and we want to see this new hardware available and see the applications that it can be used for. So just looking at the chart from a technicals, we are in a very nice spot and we close the week in a good spot. So remember the all time high for Rigetti is about $21 a share. And this was during the quantum euphoria. And this was more hype than actual hardware, than actual revenues, than actual understanding of the company. As investors, as Wall Street has become more informed about what Rigetti is doing, they're investing for the long term. And anytime Rigetti announces any progress with their chips, well, you can see for yourself, in this last month, we had this incredible 30% day. The stock from July 16th to July 25th had a 37% appreciation. A couple things that I would like to point out on the chart for you all so you can kind of see how I'm thinking about this. So we had at least eight to 10 rejections off of this 15 and change. And what happened is that area of resistance that had pushed Rigetti down many times in the past, what it what happened this week is it actually became support. And what we've seen recently with IonQ as well is they had their big run up, so their big 30% day themselves. And I'm going to point out just on the chart here for IonQ so you guys can see what kind of how I'm thinking of this. They never really gave back that 37% day. We had a couple times where it came close with IonQ. So Rigetti, I'm, I'm seeing the same thing. So we'll go over a couple of cases, but essentially this 37% day, it hasn't all been given back and it's holding above a key level of that $15, which is a round number. It's a psychological support and it's a, and it's part of the big gap up. So a lot of this optimism is priced in currently with this <clears throat> price movement. So what am I expecting going into earnings? Well, I've personally positioned myself at the $15 2026 leap call option. It's not really a leap anymore. It's kind of a late leap since there's only about five months, but I'm giving five months of time and I pretty aggressively targeted the $15 spot because I think that Rigetti, if we take a look at the stock performance, it hasn't really had a true test of a true retest of its all time highs. And it's kind of sitting in this zone one we want, it, we want to push into zone two. And of course, if we're in zone two, there's not a whole lot of resistance. So we want to get above 1752. We want to fill this gap to 2143. 
And then what we'd like to see happen with Rigetti is we'd like to see it go into price discovery. And I think that's possible. Uh, I gave earlier in the year my price target of 25, and that doesn't seem so far out of reach if Rigetti is able to hold above 15, especially since we don't have a ton of price history above 17 to 21. So what would need to go right for Rigetti to be able to make new all-time highs? Well, I think it's very simple for Rigetti. I think even if they miss on earnings and we look back and we can see that their previous two earnings they missed, I'm not personally fearing as a, as a Rigetti investor, I'm not fearing that they missed miss on earnings. Maybe there's a chance that they have a little bit of a surprise, but I'm not counting on that. What I'm counting on is they deliver on their hardware roadmap because that's going to be good news. If the company can execute, on their two promises for this year. If they can execute on the August 15th and the 100 qubit chip, the chiplet based processor by the end of 2025, I could definitely see this stock retest and surpass all time highs. So that's kind of how I'm thinking about Rigetti. And one more note about Rigetti, as my channel members know, I actually have been buying more shares. I've started a new position and I've been adding to existing positions in Rigetti, even in this zone here, because I am predicting that we will see upwards price movement. And, and this is based on what we know from Rigetti. So we don't, so another, some other catalysts potentially from Rigetti are sector tailwinds, right? If, if any of the mag seven come out with an updated, an update for their quantum machine, then that could help just kind of push uh, Rigetti in, in a sympathy, a new partnership or a new investment or new coverage. We've seen that all of these news driven headlines can also move Rigetti. I think Rigetti is one of the most interesting pure plays in the market and I'm still buying shares and I'm buying options. I'm very bullish on Rigetti. So in my base case, I could see Rigetti holding above 15 and getting rejected off 17 and kind of moving around here until eventually it meets this rising support and that might push it up. In my bear case, I see Rigetti breaking 15, coming down to this rising support, which would put it around $12 a share, which I think would be a fantastic buying opportunity. It could even break the rising support. It could come down to 11 where we've seen a lot of support. And I would look at this as an incredible buying opportunity personally, and that would be my bear case. And in my ultra bullish case, I see some sort of news or event or market euphoria that pushes Rigetti past 1752. And then we're in that zone two, and there's not a lot of resistance ahead for Rigetti. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that content. And I hope you found it very informative. So if you don't know already, I have a website, it's called thequantumbull.com, and I also make videos like this all the time. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, if you would like to join our community and our channel memberships, I have three different tiers and we have a Discord and it's very active and we're talking about trades and buys and sells all the time and talking about a bunch of different tickers, quantum and non-quantum. So I invite you to come join us. I hope you really enjoyed it and we'll talk to you guys in the next one.